This is section 3.7, Higher Derivatives. Our first objective is to identify a function along with its first and second derivatives when we're given a graph of all three. And when you're done, I'd like to be able to explain the process you follow when identifying a derivative graphically. So before we get into the examples, I want to remind you that f prime of a is the slope of f when x equals a. That means f prime of a is the y coordinate of f prime when x equals a, in addition to being the slope of the original. So slope on the original graph and the y coordinate on the derivative graph will have the same value. This is true going from f to f prime. It's also true going from f prime to f double prime. So with example one, we're having to figure out which of these three graphs is the original, which is the derivative, and which is the second derivative. So if we look here at f, or f prime, or f double prime, we want to figure out which is which, we can look at the red graph first, and we see that the red graph is always above the x-axis, and it flattens out in one spot. So we could talk about the slope of f, and we could talk about the y-coordinates of f. If I want to go forward with a derivative, and this is an original, then we would say that the derivative would have to have negative y-values, then a 0, and then positive y values because this curve is falling, then it flattens out, then it rises. And we can see that the blue graph has negative y values and then a 0 and then positive y values. So there's a chance that f, that this red one, excuse me, not f, we don't know that yet, that this red one has a derivative that is the blue. So now let's look at the blue one. Here my blue is always increasing. So if the derivative of the blue is on the picture, then it would always have to be above the x-axis. And if we look at the black, we can see that the black one is always above the x-axis, as is the red one. But if we look at the blue one in here, we can see that the steepest part of the graph is in this middle section, and then out here we're pretty flat. So a low slope, a small slope here, would not correspond to a high y-coordinate on the red. However, it might correspond to a small y-coordinate on the black one. And here, where we're the steepest, we can see that the y-coordinates on the black were getting a little bit better bigger than they were on the edges. So I would suggest here that my order of functions here is the red one is the original, the blue is the first derivative, and the black is the second derivative. So now let's look at the next one. With example 2, it's a little bit more challenging because they are not real obvious zeros. The only thing that has zeros on it is this red one. And if we look at the zeros, if this were to be the derivative of something, then that would mean that the curve that it was the derivative of would have to be rising and then flatten out and then fall. And I don't see any curves that are rising on the left from here to here. There's no curve that are rising. All three of them are falling. Because of that, that means that this one has to be my original graph. It can't be the derivative because I don't have any flattening out at this location or at this location. So now let's think about what the derivative of this would look like. We're falling all the time here, and then we're rising. So that means the derivative would have to be underneath the x-axis and then above the x-axis. So the only curve that's underneath and then above is this blue one. So that means the blue one will be f prime. If we now double check here, the blue is falling the whole time here, and then it's falling again. So its derivative would be underneath the x-axis and then underneath the x-axis. So that means the black one is my second derivative. So now I'd like you to try this one where you're given the graph of f, and I want you to sketch a possible function for excuse me, the graph of f prime, and I'd like you to sketch a possible graph of f. And when you're done, I want you to be able to explain the process you follow when identifying a derivative graphically.